Now, I've got, I'm not going to go into fine detail now, like, because that's not what this march is about. But there are a lot of DVDs going about, and there are a lot of people here who are getting this story now. Here they are, guys here. 9-11, check loose change out. It's an hour long, and it'll prove to you within an hour, and I challenge anyone not to believe this side of the, this side of the story, the alternative media version of events. Okay, 9-11 is important for a lot of reasons. Not only has it taken us into illegal wars all over the world and, and led to the massacre of innocent people everywhere, but it's hindering our protest. And these people who control our society, or think they do, they think they do, the reality is we have all the power in the world. We just haven't figured it out yet. We, we are too many for these people to control once we wake up. Now, 9-11 is an opportunity for, for consciousness building if people open their minds to it. Once you see this story and you realise how they've lied and how they've manipulated all that footage so that they can control populations all over the world, then you can start to see the bigger picture and realise what is going on here. It is, it's not scary at all. This knowledge is power. All knowledge is power, which is why it's kept for us. Why it's so important that we do our research and start collecting this knowledge and understand what it is about this monster that we need to know. When we know it, we can deal with it. It's very, very reassuring for me to know what I know now and I know what you'll feel the same when you digest this stuff. So, please, I, I'm going to finish on that stuff, that subject now, but it's very, very important. It's the easiest way to see into the corruption of the media. And they're not just, cor they're not just lying about the event, they're covering it up. They really are. And it, it has big connotations for us all. We need to understand it. Now, with the media, again, I, I, I've got a big block with the media. I, have, they, 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 I hate them. I hate them all of them. And they, they, they should be ashamed of themselves for, for not just the way they lie about what we are. I mean, look at you, beautiful people, and they call you monsters. They are disturbed. They, these people are disturbed. They have mental health problems. Okay, they're, they're, they're not normal. Yes. Anyway. So, for me, we've got to stop thinking that the media are going to do our job for us. That we, we behave nicely and wear a tie and, and, and speak politely and say, no, we don't, we don't like the animal liberation from these, these people are terrorists, but they're going to do what you want. That's not how it's going to be. That's not how it is. And we need to understand this. We need to subvert the media. We have plenty of knowledge, plenty of information at our hands that we need to be getting out there to people, a side of the media. You know, it's not hard to do. It really isn't. Now, we, we've got a new idea coming up, a new, a new campaign, if you like. Um, now, I'm not to say that I, I, I'm going to get involved in politics, because I know what politics is, it's a front. And these people that we see as having power in the Labour Party and the Conservative Party, they don't have any power. They aren't in control of things. The people that control them have the power. It's no point voting for any of these political parties, because it's not going to change anything. I mean, most of us know this now. Well, what we're going to do, come the next election, which is going to be next year, and following on four years from that until we've finished, until we've achieved what we want, the Animal Protection Party, um, this is, a, this is a, an animal rights party and it's the only one. Don't be duped by any of the rest of them. The Animal Protection Party was to be political and it's now, it's now morphed into the Animal Protection Party. We're not here to gain power, okay? We're not standing to gain the, the kind of power that these people think they've got at the moment. What we're going to do, this is for people that vote, not for people that already decided that they're not going to vote. Brilliant. Is this for people that do vote, that have got the right to vote, and they want to use their vote constructively? Okay? The Animal Protection Party, we're going to feed 100 candidates across this country against animal abusing MPs. Now, we don't want power. I'm not going to stand because I want power. I'm going to stand to take the votes off those people who are standing currently, who've got small majorities. It's not very many votes. We have a big community of people who care about the animal kingdom and about what's happening to this planet. We don't want to vote in under the current system. We want something different. And that's what we're going to be. We're going to get ourselves a platform. We're 100 candidates. We have a party political broadcast on the TV. We have our leaflets put through everybody's doorstep in the constituency in which we stand. And we're not standing for power. I'll stress that again. We're standing to take the power of the morons that are already there that think they're going to get into Parliament next time round. Stress it again. I know people are scared of politics, and I've just been heckled by somebody here. This is different, okay? It's not to gain power. This system is corrupt. It's broken. It cannot be fixed, okay? It needs to be taken apart, and then we need a new system in this, in this society. 
We've got to get rid of these people. We've got to get rid of this system as it is. And the animal protection party is going to stand on a platform of animal rights. We're not going to stand with compromises. We don't want Christmas cards and comfort blankets for monkeys in laboratories on Christmas Day. We don't want them. We don't want mice being given more space in their cages. We're starting on a position, and we're going to stick with. We're not going to compromise ever on our position. This is about animal liberation, about ending the violence, full stop. No compromises, no half measures, none of that. And that's where we are. And we are the only party in this country that stands for that. Now, who put an ice cream van there? <laughs> that was Really? Now, I'm not going to go on. We've got thousands of people through Oxford today. We've got a really good march today. And again, thanks to the police. I'm not going to say that again. I'm going to get myself in. I'm going to embarrass myself, aren't I? But we've got a very, very powerful march today. We've got some amazing people here. And we're going through a big community of people from all over the world. Probably the busiest streets in the world we're going through. Now, we've got a big message that we've got to portray to these people. Um, so I, I'm not going to spend any more time talking to you. And I don't think there's anybody else on after me. Um, we've got a two-hour march. It's a nice warm day. Do enjoy yourselves, and I normally I would say don't get into a fight with these people. It doesn't look like they want to have a fight with us today. Maybe they're a little bit embarrassed about what they've been doing recently, but, um, but don't. It's not about fighting with them, it's about getting our message out to the wider population that, that aren't used to this kind of information. Um, but before I do finish, I want to stress, I don't know if anybody spoke about Shaq yet, the, the, the police and the, 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 the industry, they've been bigging up that the movement's been crushed now, all these extremists are locked up, hunting the life sciences can get back on its feet. This is a nonsense, there are more people involved in this campaign now than there ever have been. <laughs> Thank you.